What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? I, I tear names up, bro. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> yeah, my, everybody say my name up all my life. <laughs> apo apologies in advance. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. <laughs> all right, Teron. No, there's no problem. Teron in the building. All right, my guy. We just uh, we we just gonna get into it, man. So you 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 a driver from out of Texas? This is where your number's being pinged yeah. at. Yeah, I live in Texas. Oh, okay, okay. What what part of Texas you at, my guy? Fort Worth. Oh, okay, okay. The deep. So what what what's that little area right there? The D the DFW. DFW. Yeah, DFW. Oh, okay. Metroplex, yeah. Okay, okay. How, how long you been down in Texas? About six years. See, I fuss with Texas, man. That's that's that that's my state, man. Shout out to Texas because that's where majority of my uh, you know, subscribers is based out of. You know what I'm saying? What you know about chopped and screw oh, okay. music, bro? Oh, yeah, I've been messing with it since forever. Uh -huh. You know, even before I came down here, uh -huh. you know. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. You know, All right, so I'm this... from Chicago, so, you know, we had, uh, you know, we had that twisted and all that, but, mm -hmm. you know, I was still messing with the uh, chop the screw, though. All right, so let's get into it. So you, you, you're originally from Chicago? Yeah. Okay, so what, what, what you, what got you down to test this, man? Man, you know how Chicago is, man. It's rough out there. You know, my son growing up, teenage and stuff like that. So I'm like, you know, it's time for us to make a move. You know, I ain't one trying to have him out there in the streets and stuff like that. You know, it was mainly about my son, you know, staying alive, not getting mixed up and everything right. or whatever. Right, right. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's 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 a rough life out there, and it's rough for truckers out there, man. I, I tell you, I just got finished. Uh, having a <clears throat> messed up week, bro. Messed up week. Uh, Chicago did me wrong, man. So now it looks like I'll be doing my doing my thirty four out here on the road here up, up here in the up in Nebraska, man. I don't even know, but it ain't about me. It's about you, man. So how long how long you been driving? Two years. Okay, okay. So you just uh so you just got in the game, you still fresh. You're not a rookie. I'm not gonna call you that, but you're still a little bit of fresh. Um all right, so we 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 about to jump into jump into conversation, man. We we talking about super ego, man. Come on now. We talking about super ego. What's what's man. all right, so before uh before we get started with the super ego talk, um I just want to say, guys, that this is this young man's experience. Uh, what he has experienced with the company, his experience may not, you know, may not roll over to you guys' experience and vice and vice versa. So, in other words, what he says is all about him and it does not reflect nothing on the host or the Lockout Man podcast show or the uh, or the recruiter call channel. So let's get into it, man. So I, obviously, uh, how, how did you come to find out about Super Ego? Somebody referred you or you just you you just found them on one of their Facebooks? What What's up? Yeah, pretty much an ad came through on my Facebook. You know how the algorithm works and stuff. So I was like, you know, they was talking about 88%. You know, they taking 12, stuff like that. You know, it sounded pretty good. And then, you know, out of Chicago, so I figured I could take my whole time, some time out there since, you know, I got people out there. You know, it sounded real good to me, you know. Okay. And, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, so of course, just like everybody else, you know, y'all y'all see the ad. Y'all, it's all over Facebook, all over Instagram, you know, big ass, big ass sign right there on, um, what's that, 294? Right there on two ninety four, mm -hmm. super ego. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they hot. They coming up, but um, but yeah, you got in there. What was your experience coming into the door, man? Like, uh, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I know like your transportation, and I think hotel, 
is covered by you? You have to cover all of that? Yeah, I had to pay for my own flight there. And they, they'll they put you up in the hotel, but they're going to take it from you later on down the line. Mm. So they'll... So they'll they'll put you up in the hotel, but they they'll take you they they'll take it back from you in uh in in your settlements and everything, right? Yeah, right. All right, coming in the door, your experience, uh, orientation, all that good stuff. What 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 what's up with uh, what's up with all of that, man? Well, for me, the first person I talked to just lied to me for no reason. So uh, I told him what kind of truck I wanted, and he was like, "Oh yeah, we got that, but uh, we don't got we don't got the keys. You know, we got to get a key made for it because uh, they said that the last driver of the truck took off with the keys. You know, so I looked inside the truck, and it was like, you know, the guy was still living in there. Mm. So, so, uh, so wait, I, so this, what what kind of truck you? you asked for you you asked for a brand new truck or because i know like no. i know like if you get like a if you get like a newer truck you have to put some money down and if you get like an older truck obviously somebody else was in it you don't have to put no money down so that's that's the truck you was going with the the, the one that you didn't have to put no money down on well the truck i wanted was the kenworth uh, 2021. So I didn't have to put no money down on that one. Now, if I wanted a 23, that would have been five thousand down, mm. and I wasn't finna give nobody five thousand dollars, and I don't even know how I'm gonna like you. Right, right. You know. Okay, so the Ken, yeah, so uh, so the Kenworth in the yard, no keys. Was was what's going what's going on with that, bro? Right, so he told me that the last driver just took off with the keys. But then, like I said, when I got inside the truck, you know, all the stuff was still in there. So later on in the day, I go back out to look at the truck, you know, I'm taking pictures of it, you know, pretty much doing a little preach up on it. And he pulls up next to me, the guy who who had the truck before me, he pulls up next to me in the, in the brand new Kenworth. So I'm like, this your truck right here? He said, yeah, I'm just moving my stuff in and out of it right now. Huh? So I'm like, why Why did they lie to me and tell me that you took off with the key and they got to get one made? Right. That was a red flag right there. Right. <laughs> that, you, they, 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 made it, they made it like dude just abandoned the truck. Right. That's how it was presented to me, you know? Mm. So, and that wasn't even the case. So I'm like, why is you lying to me for Like, for no reason. Okay, so old boy pulled up. Pulled up on you in a in a in a crisp clean Kenworth, and you you about to get the hand me down. Like why why did why did he leave that truck in the first place, man? I, did did you did you ask him that? Did you ask the driver what what's up with that? Because that why what did, because of a newer truck? Something had to be wrong with that truck in order for him to get up out of there, man. See, I did ask him that. He said he didn't like the way it drove. That it took too long to get up speed, and it had the um, uh, what you call it the um, about the speed. Oh, uh, it was governed because they'll let you take the govern off their trucks, you know. So he he said he liked the way the new truck rolled better, how it got up to speed better, and it it already didn't have no govern on it. So that's what. But, I mean, to me, the truck was fine. You know, I drove the truck. The truck didn't have no issues. Mm. So I think he just wanted something new. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So all right. So you got uh he got his stuff out of there. You got it up in there, cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, now that you now that you got the truck, what you, what's your experience? Uh, with the dispatchers getting loads and stuff like that. Um, uh, do you get do you get the dispatch from the dispatchers themselves? Or do you, or do you get, um, or do you go on a low board and and find the dispatches? How that work? No, they dispatch you the lows. You know, you can't get on any low board and 
get your own loads. They dispatch you the loads. In other words, so, uh, in, in other words, they control your money, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. Okay. They can, and I'm gonna tell you why they do that. Go you ahead. Know, why in a minute? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Did the flow's yours? Yeah. So the reason why they ain't gonna let you pick your own loads is because they taking off the top. Like, say your load originally is like twenty four hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? They gonna come at you and tell you. Well, this load is only a thousand dollars, and then they taking twelve percent off of that thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? So they already skimming off the top, then writing up bogus uh, rate cons for you, and then taking part. Of, you know that they twelve percent off of that. So they they coming up out of you know they taking like thousand dollars from you. Each load you doing, or okay. however much they take it from you. Okay, now let me see if I understand this. Now, now. Everybody know I'm 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 not a lease driver, so you know I learn I learn everything from what I from from the people I talk to. So let me see if I understand it. So let's say theoretically you they 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 book you a load. They they find a load for like what you say for like twenty four hundred dollars. That twenty four hundred dollars mm-hmm. is supposed to go to you or yes. Okay, so that twenty four hundred dollars supposed to go to you, and they only supposed to eighty eight percent of that. Okay, what? Okay, so if they they find a load for twenty four hundred dollars, and eighty eight percent of that load goes to you, right? Yes. Oh, okay. So you're getting. Okay, so from what I'm hearing, you you getting eighty eight percent of twenty four hundred dollars that they got. How is they how is they taking more money out of that? Because because they're not telling you the load is twenty four hundred. They're telling you the load may only be a thousand. Oh, so when you're here, you're thinking this load is a thousand dollars. Oh, and you getting the eighty eight percent of the thousand dollars. Oh, you know what I'm saying. Oh, they double dipping. Yeah, they're scheming off the top. You oh, know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. My my bad. I'm my I, I may be a little I may be a little late to the party, but I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, so <laughs> so they so they booking the load twenty four hundred dollars from the broker. Okay. The broker say, yo, you know, loads $2,400, bam, bam, boom. Let's make the deal. The driver slash lease op, okay, yeah, we got a load for you that's $1,000. And you like, okay, this sounds good. You you accept that, and then it's 88% of $1,000. So let me, let me see if my calculations is... I know I know eighty percent of a thousand dollars is eight hundred dollars, right? Mm-hmm. So you figure another eight percent. So uh eight hundred eight hundred and eighty dollars, or is it a little bit more, a little bit less? It's about eight sixty, something eight, like that. Oh man. So it's like what? That's about what? About a about an extra two, what two forty? No, 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 two forty. That's that'll be eleven. Uh, a hundred and forty. Let me see, a hundred, nine hundred. Yeah, a hundred and forty. So they not only getting a hundred and forty from you, but they took the extra grand that they got the that they got it for. So they giving you they they giving you chump change while they taking about a what about a, a eleven hundred dollars? Is they exactly do, okay? Exactly. Now you know what? It's funny. You're now, now to be honest. To be honest, you're you're not the only driver that's that has said that. I, and I, I I'm the type of person that if one person is talking about it or saying something about it. You know, you probably might have to put it as a as a gain of salt, right? You know, it, it, people would think that you disgruntled, and you know, and people would just think that you, you know, feel some kind of way because 
of course, this is your experience, and and another person has not experienced that. But if you got like right, I see. If you got like a handful of people, damn near saying almost identical to what you're saying, then some something's wrong, bruh. Why? Okay, so why? If if that's the case, then why is this company so freaking popular? And everybody is running over there to Super Eagle because just about everybody I know is is literally running over to Super Eagle and 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 getting on with them, bro. Why why do you think, in your opinion, you know, why why do you think that? You know, they probably think it's not gonna happen to them, or you know, oh man, every company does this. You know, they. I mean, that was my thoughts. Like, man, everybody does it. You know, I'm thinking it's probably like a couple hundred. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't thinking it was like no real big money, but you know, I've come to find out it was. And uh, I know the thing. I was going pretty fast, man. You know, people just need to start doing their research on these companies. You know, that's how I came across you and your podcast because I'm looking up J and I. You know, I'm trying. There's not a lot of stuff on face on YouTube about J and I. You know. I appreciate but, uh, that. I appreciate that. I pretty put. I I pretty much put J and R on the map. But we'll 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 talk about them in a little bit. So, how how long have you? Well, how did you? Let me ask you this, because you know we we just going by the you know theoreticals right now. Well, it actually happened to you, but on my part is the you know theoretical. How long? How how soon? Did you know that 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 Super Eagle was uh was was skimming off the top? How how did you how did you come across that uh on your settlements or how how did you know that they was that they was doing that to you? Well, I ran across another Super Eagle driver on the road and he, you know, he talked he told me about it. And so uh you know, sometimes the brokers will call you themselves and ask you where you were, stuff like that. So the broker called me, and I ended up asking him, you know, like, man, how much this load is right here? He was like, oh, man, it's about $3,000 load right here. Mm. I was like, okay, all right. You know, he says, they'll tell you, you know. You and, uh, you, 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 know, would, you would kind of think that Super Ego would be like, hey, bro, uh, I know you got to call my driver and everything, but, you know, can you just keep it to the logistics? Because it seems to me that these brokers is loose lipping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, these, I, I mean, that's, I mean, I, I, hey, look, listen, I'm, I mean, I, I, that's a good thing, especially if you're, if you're the type of driver that's, that's like, well, you know, I'm about to go off on my own, and it's a good deal that you know these brokers that calls me because, to be honest with you, that's that's how I, I I'm, I'm not gonna lie. When I when I started my uh when I started my uh roadside business back in the day, I was uh you know I was through Papa Lock, and it was a franchise deal, so we would get our settlements of the companies that would you know that we that that we uh uh hooked up with so basically what i did was i was like shit you know dude taking a percentage out of my money i i, I could cut out the middleman and do this shit myself so what i did mm -hmm. you know what i did i called geico called road america called uh you know, call uh, 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 Vista Travel, the, the the cell phone companies, and you know how easy it is to get contracts with them. I, I said, man, I hooked up with them, and I was like, bump that. I got all the money. So I mean, I I get that the brokers is calling you guys and you know giving y'all giving y'all the gist of everything, but. I'm just saying, if if everybody is saying the same thing, bro, I, I don't know, Super Ego. You guys might need to talk to your brokers and tell them to keep their damn mouth shut, man. I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying. No, don't help them screw us over. Don't help them screw us well, over. Well, no, I don't <laughs> want it. I, I, hey, I, I, I'm just saying. I mean, I, I'm just saying because, like I said, you you, you, and everybody else, you, you're not the only one that says that. And I'm like, well, shit. Uh, if the brokers are so freely telling you guys, like, hey, bro, yeah, it's, uh, it's this, that, and the third and all like that. I don't know. Super ego should be feeling some kind of way, like yo, y'all, y'all need to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all need to shut up. But on, a, on, think... but on a for real though, I on on a you know we like I said we we can laugh at it now. But on a on a for real though, man, uh, you know I, I I'm I'm I always say don't mess with the driver's money. I'm I'm with you on that. Don't don't mess with the driver's money, man. I mean if you. If you guys get the load, if y'all broker the load for one price, give it to that driver for the price that you broker the load from, and then just take your little percentage off of that. You know, and I I don't think right, that you have like any uh, no no issues. It's not like they hurt for drivers. Not like they don't got a million drivers. Exactly. You know, so they percentage you know should sustain them, but now they want to be greedy, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, right, so I tell them, I wait till I get, I got a load from Minnesota. I ain't already made up my mind, I'm going to take this truck back. Because, you know, if you don't take that truck back, they're going to put it on your report, yeah. that abandonment, and, yeah. you know, it's going to be real hard mess, to get a job then. Yeah, mess with your money and mess with your, uh, and try to blacklist you. Yeah. So, uh, while I was getting unloaded in Minnesota, they calling me like, what you think about the company? And I tell them, what's up? And I told them I'm leaving, you know, I'm finna drop this truck off. And they come talking about, well, uh, do you wanna take a load to Chicago? No, for what? So you can ride me some more? You know, I mean, first of all, I didn't even get my last settlement. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I dropped the truck off. It was already three other guys over there dropping their trucks off for the mm. same reason. And they Damn. already had my truck rented out to somebody else. Damn. Before I even got there. So we got so we so we got to revolt. Well, I mean, it, it, it's like that with all trucking companies, you know, the revolving door. But goddamn, bro, you 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 dropping your you you going back to drop your truck off. You got like three, four other people dropping off their trucks too. But then again, of course, they already got somebody. They already got three, four, five guys already online to to, to come and keep their trucks moving, man. Is that a yeah, because when Is I got it? there, it was already somebody else there waiting for my truck. He, I was, you know, oh. he's asking me questions, and I'm like, "Who are you?" He was like, "Oh, this is my truck right here." I'm like, "Damn, oh. man, they didn't rent out the truck before I even got got it back." Wow, bro, is that is is that a good concept though? Because they 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 well, they turn they they turnover rate. Must be through the fucking roof, bruh. And I suspect nobody has ever finished a lease purchase program with them. I mean, they got these other two guys who got YouTube channels. You know, they do whatever they do. You know, they show their favoritism to certain people. Right. But I don't think anybody has ever even finished the lease program with them. I think they'd be on that because one guy told me, you know, he did that and they... Once he got down to the nitty gritty of it, they fired him. Now I don't know mm. what was going on. If he's telling the truth or not, I don't know. But I heard companies do that. You know, when you get down to the end of the lease agreement, they'll make up some bullshit and fire you. Mm. So I mean, I don't know about that. Mm. But they turnover rate is super high. Super ego. Mm. Well, <laughs> well, T, man, that's. That's crazy. Oh, okay, so how how long was you actually with them before you decided to uh before you decided that this wasn't for you? A little over a month. Cause you know, it was really pissing me off that they were stealing my money for my hard work. How many so you've been there for Nothing. a month? How how many miles do you did did you did you clear and you you don't have to you know tell us how much you actually made because you already said they they didn't give you your last paycheck yet 
But uh, what what was what was what was some of the money that you just ballpark some of the money you was making throughout the week? Because I'm you you get paid every every week every week or every other week. Every week, every week, seven months. All right, so uh, first, you know, just be like, you know, this is first week ballpark, second week ballpark, and the third week, and we already know the fourth week is on hold. So what was, what was the three? I don't know. I hope I don't fall. Weeks ballpark. Uh, I say in three weeks. The most I ever made with them was like fourteen hundred, but then they took out because I had a blowout, and then the very next day my airbag was punctured. Somebody punctured my airbag at the truck stop, mm -hmm. and so they, that took all my money. That took all my money getting that truck fixed. They said they was gonna take it out, and you know a little this week, a little that week. Man, they took it out in whole in one whole walk. Wow. So. In other words, do you guys have it? Did, do do they set you up with with a maintenance account? I mean, no, 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 no maintenance account. Everything is your responsibility, from what I'm hearing from every driver that I and have talked to. And you don't even get no uh, no fuel discounts, none of that. You know what? If they do, they keep all that shit for themselves. You know, it's, it's it's terrible over there, man. I wouldn't recommend nobody to go over there. Super ego, man. Look, you know, I'm I'm of course I'm you know I'm biased to everybody. I give everybody equal opportunity and all like that. Um, but man, though, no no fuel no no fuel surcharge, no fuel discounts. And you're responsible for every sounds like everything on the truck from a blowout to whatever little things happen. You're you're responsible for it. And and out of the three weeks, because the fourth week they kept your check, out of the three weeks, you only got fourteen hundred dollars. Yeah, that that was one of the best weeks I did there. It was a fourteen hundred dollars. That was like the second week. I never saw two. My goal was to make two thousand dollars a week, right? And I never even got close to that. Uh, wow. Mm. So again, Minnesota, you was on the load, you, and that's when you just said, "Fuck it, let me go ahead and uh, try somewhere else." When, uh, man, super ego. Hmm. All right, guys, as I said before, this, you know, this is this driver's experience uh, with Super Ego. Uh, T, thank you for, you know, sharing your story uh, about Super Ego. Let's switch gears for a little bit. Uh, you, of course, went back on a, you know, back on the search for another trucking job. And where where did J&R Swoogle came into play? Where did I see them? I think I saw, I saw an ad for them too on Facebook. You know, I was putting in apps everywhere. You know, I was putting in apps everywhere. And, um, you know, it sounded pretty good. I wanted to go back company anyway for things I'm trying to do in my personal life, you right. know. So, uh, you know, I talked to them. Everything sounded pretty good. You know, it always sounds good. Right. I just right. have to see how that worked out. All right, so you uh you 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 called up J and R Shrugel. Uh, you talked to one of their recruiters. How was uh, how how was the conversation between you and the recruiter? Was it was it a good one? Did you did you learn anything from it? Obviously, it must have been good because you you starting with them on Monday. So how 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 was the conversation? Oh, she she was uh, real nice, nice woman, you know, and um. Uh... Well, she answered everything I needed to know. Only thing she really didn't know about was what the truck actually comes with. You know, I was asking her about inverters and APUs and stuff and refrigerators. She really didn't know nothing. She really didn't have any of those answers. 
But I well, was like, whatever. Well, I'll check it out. I mean, it's been it, it's been over a little minute since I I I personally been with Jane Arshwogel, but I when I I I don't know. I, I I don't know the culture there now. You know, maybe it's different, maybe it's changed. But I know when I got there, the inverter you had to pay for it. Um, they would install it. Um, I think the inverter that I got uh, costed me about a hundred a hundred dollars. They took fifty dollars out of out of one check and fifty dollars out the other check. So whenever you quit, you know, just make sure you tell them, hey. Give me that inverter because a lot of times when a lot of drivers quit J and R Swoogle, yeah, the inverter is what they leave up in there because of course, you know, they already upset because whatever the case they leave in the company for. So that's a free inverter. Don't do that because when what happened to me and why I left, yeah, that was the first thing I told bro to do. Like, yo, hey, snatch that motherfucker out of there. I paid for that. <laughs> Um. All right, let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Like, so I got I got my own inverter. You know, it's brand new. I ain't never even hooked it up yet. So you think oh. I should bring that with me? Yeah, bring that with you, bro. Yeah, if you got it, bring it. I mean, you know. Now listen, don't don't bring everything in the kitchen sink. I'm, I'm, don't do that. But if you got if you got an inverter, yeah, bring that motherfucker, bro. Because some of their, you know, like I said, I, I got I, I'll give it to Jay and Arshugu. They 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 maintain their trucks if anything that they don't that they do good is that they maintain their trucks so you might look up with one that has an inverter in there or if not you 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 know you, you got your own you could let them know hey i got my own slap this bad boy in another good thing about jnr swoogle is that um they got kenworth's well, I, again, this I'm I'm only going by memory. That's about it. Uh, Kenworths and Internationals, and the Internationals is um uh, is L is LTMs or TM TM. It's the it's it's the better model than a uh it's a step up model from the regular International. So you might end up you, yeah, you might end up they, in one uh, of those. Guess. I don't think they got those anymore. She didn't say nothing about that. She was what just like Ken words. Oh, yeah, Ken words. Oh, okay. Okay. What the, hey, like I said, man, it's, look, it's been a little <laughs> minute for me, bro. Like I said, I'm, I am I can only go on to what, you know, on to what I remember. And that's why everybody was asking me to do an update, you know, to do an update uh, MTC on on them. And that's what I did. But yeah, I'm, I'm shit, from what I went on, they, you know, I had a brand, my, let me see. I started in a, a 19 international, but then I got a, I got a white one, a brand new white one. That was like a 2022 or some shit. And then that motherfucking fire hydrant came out of nowhere, <laughs> took out the front bumper. I'm just saying, uh, then they, you know, then they snatch, they, they snatched me in, uh, in uh in another brand like brand new 2022, it was an orange one this time. So yeah, I mean it was uh, you know, like I said, they maintain they 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 maintain their trucks, man. But if they if they stepped up to a uh Kenworth, that's even better. So this, you know, just make sure come out. Yeah, just make sure you you bring your your inverter with you. I, I'm not sure if they got refrigerators. I know mine didn't have one. I know the one, I know the one that uh old girl, she, the one that she was in, she had a refrigerator in hers. And as a matter of fact, I gotta reach back out to her. It's been a minute that I talked to her. But um, but oh. yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, is, the so, King Words, man, mm -hmm. my understanding, all King Words, they got refrigerators built in them already. You know, some some of them slide, some they, of them do. Yeah, some of they, them do, some of them don't. I, I didn't even know they didn't. I thought they all came with them. Yeah, that's what's up. Well, you know, like I said, man, I mean, J&R Schwugel isn't, isn't a bad company. You know, like I tell everybody, they, they, they isn't a bad company. It was just 
my experience with the company. So, but you know, there's there's a few people that's 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 been there for a while that let you know that J and R Swoogle, you know, they depending on who your fleet manager is, it will make the it it will make the time there uh bearable if I if 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 I'm safe to say that. Bearable. <laughs> so they good about like like how long do they expect you to stay out? Because you know, I'm trying to be out like three weeks in home one week, you know. Bro, you can stay out as long as you want, man. <laughs> if you it, it, you 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 can stay out as long as you want, bro. Or if you want to uh you you can stay out as long as you want or as little as you want. Or if you're on uh if you if you're on a, a regional like I was, I ran from Ohio all the way up to Minnesota. And then from Minnesota all the way back to Ohio, that was it. But they had, they had another regional which ran from, uh, ran from Ohio all the way down south. Sometimes, uh, sometimes Texas. But yeah, if you want to stay out, bro, you know, just make sure you, you know, you get a repertoire with your, uh, your fleet manager, and if. They like any other fleet manager. Just show your tenacity, man. You know, just show that you want to do the work. Show that you want to run. You know, make yourself up. Uh, you know, make 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 yourself uh to be like in the top three of the of the people that they give lows to and miles to. So there was another word. Right, because I, I don't got no problem. I don't got no problem staying out. I don't have no problem with that. All right. You know, and I'm so used to it. Oh, you know what? It was another thing I wanted to tell you about Super Ego. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> okay, okay. we're going to revert back to Super Ego. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. So, you know how they be running their ELDs. You know, you can just call. You run out of time. You can just call up and get more time, whatever mm. they do on their end. Mm. So, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay. And I'm running out of time. So I call them to give me some more time. She, the ELD lady tells me I need to go find a copy shop and make a fake BOL and change the time stamp on it. What? Like, what? Like, no so way. No, no, T. <laughs> T, that, that's, that's not true. That's not true. Man, I'm telling you, that's what she told me. Now, I didn't call them before we get time and was never told that before. You know, but I don't know this one who answered the phone. That's what she told me. And T, I was just like, yeah, okay, I'll do it, whatever. But I wasn't finna do that. T, are you serious? You Are you serious? Um, the young lady actually told I'm you. I'm dead serious. The young lady told you to go to a love somewhere, get up, make a copy, and actually change the time on the BOL? How would you change, change right. the time to what? To make it seem like I wasn't out driving, they really like, okay, this is what time I picked it up. You know, if I ever got pulled over by DOT in the process, you know what I'm saying? I just showed them that that be a well in the time, which I don't know why they would want that, but you know, man, I don't, it blew me away because, like I said, I asked them, I've called and got time from them before, and I was never asked that before. You know, they just did whatever they had to do, and then boom, I had more time on my clock. Wow. That was the first time that I was asked to do that. Wow, bro. You know? So wait, so let's say you you didn't do that though, did you? No, I didn't do that. Okay, so okay, so you didn't do that. Did she still was she still able to give you some time back or no? Yeah, she gave me the time. I didn't there was no reason for me to do that. She was just talking about do that in case I get pulled over by DOT. And I, I got this BOL to show them with this timestamp. But when I get to the shipper, giving them the real BOL, you know what I'm saying? That's what she told me. You, you I'm know, like, man, I'm not doing none of that. You know, again, <laughs> again, uh, you're not the only driver that says this about their, you know, about their practices, man. And I, I would think... With all you drivers coming out here giving up the tea about Super Ego, 
let me ask you this. When when you came in, when you came in the door with Super Ego doing the orientation and where they was explaining everything. Was there somewhere or somebody that actually came in the room and be like, hey, y'all, um, we, we want you to sign a non-disclosure agreement, which means you can't talk about shit that goes on here at the company. Have, have anybody came and, mm -hmm. and, and did that? Because a lot of the, I mean, again, you're not the first driver, and I'm sure you're not going to be the last driver to spill the tea about Super Ego. But I would think Super Ego wouldn't want this type of information out there, bro, if they if if they doing those type of practices, especially with the ELDs. Because let's say the wrong ear from FMCSA hears this, they gonna get they they gonna get they they never got audited or nothing like that. They had to get. Man, audited. nobody ever came here. Nobody came ever, ever came in and told us none of that. You know, we ain't signed none of that. You know, so I mean, I don't even. I heard there's somebody trying to get a class action lawsuit. I don't know about all that. I don't know, but I don't understand how they able to even operate like this. Mm. I, I don't understand how people let me ride like. It's illegal as hell, you know what I'm saying? I I I you know what? I, I would tend to see that information like this. Information like this uh on on the company side looks bad. But information like this on drivers that actually want to do that is is kind of bad too, because like you know, the drivers that actually want to do this, you know, because there are drivers out there that be like, yeah, gives it, yeah, I, I, I run all day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll run yeah. all day, you know, you know, keep my, you know, keep my, my clock fresh all the time. But I would think those same drivers that's, that's, that does that will kind of, kind of give a, 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 a snide look at drivers that's telling that, that's telling this type of stories about the ELDs over there. Like, hey, bro, what, you, what, what are you doing, man? Hey, I just got to let the people know. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. What, the, what, what you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. Man, right. Mm, that's, yeah, the ELDs, man. I mean, you know, that's a very, very touchy uh, uh uh, controversial topic, you know, companies want you to run illegal, you know, but let's say, you know, let's say you get stopped by DOT, man, you know, that responsibility is going to fall back on you and not the company, right? Yeah, exactly. That's why I wasn't really doing none of that stuff, man. Yeah, it's going to fall back on you, and, and nine times out of ten, the company is going to protect the company no matter what, you know. So if you out here running illegal and, you know, getting time back and all like that, and, and you get pulled over by DOT, state trooper, or or even in an accident, bro, all that is going to fall back on you. The company going to be like, uh, we didn't tell him to do that. He did that on his own. Hey, whoa, 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 wait, wait, All right, wait, no, 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 we, 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 we didn't, we only just, you know, just said that the load got to be there, we didn't, you know, we didn't say that, you know, run illegal, you know, <laughs> or whatever the conversation they're going to have with, uh, with, you know, with that audit, man, but, bro, this, this, this ELD thing, if a, <laughs> I can understand if you're running out of hours and you're you're trying to find somewhere to park and you need uh you need to go on PC to do that. I understand that. You know, you you're not gonna run PC all the way from one point of the world to the other point of the world. And I don't think a company gonna let you get away with that anyway. But if you need 
if if you need like maybe about an hour or something like that to find somewhere to park, you know, or if you're on your 34 or on your 10 and you want to go and get something to eat, yeah, but to actually augment your your ELD so you could just continue running. I I think that's a bad idea. I wouldn't suggest anybody do that. I mean, y'all do what y'all want. You know, I, I suggest that y'all don't. But if you're that type of driver and you feel confident in your ability to run and all like that, and don't think that you're not going to get caught, trust me. I gave you guys all the check marks that happened to me. So anything that happens, it will happen. Y'all think it ain't going to happen? Take my word for it. It's going to happen. So if you think you not going into the scale house for maybe about a good year, trust me, you're going to end up going into the scale house. You don't think you're going to go in there and talk to them people? Trust me, you're going to go in there and talk to them people. One day, and it might be, and it might be that day where you call yourself, hey, you know, I'm just, you know, rewind my clock back a little bit. Because them, them, they they could tell. They, okay, keep keep doing it. But bro, hey, I mm, I I just I just think that this information, this tea right here, this all this kind of tea right here, because like I said, you're not the only one, but this kind of tea right here, I, I don't think the company want want any of that out. So yeah. Um Probably might be something in the future that they might want to might want to talk about in a board meeting. I guess I don't I don't know. <laughs> There's a, you know more and more, like you said, more and more people coming out. You know right. about how they do things over there. So I'm pretty sure they go come in somewhere with some type of legal something. But yeah, I ain't messing around with them no more. All right, that's what's up, man. And you already said that you you wouldn't suggest anybody go uh, anybody go there, though. Right, I wouldn't recommend nobody to go there. All right, that's what's up, T man. Well, thank you very much, man, for uh, stopping by. I really do appreciate you coming on and uh, sharing your story. Uh, success to you over at J and R Shrugel, man. Um, I'm hoping. Um, I'm hoping everything works out for you over there. Um, coming in at two years, where 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 are they starting? Where are they starting two year drivers at, bro? Uh, they got me at 63, 64, oh. 63, I think. Oh, yeah. oh, they got oh, they got you where? Yep, sixty three. Sixty three. Uh, the twenty five hundred, twenty five hundred transition. What? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> bro. Yeah, this is the new JNR Shrugel, bro. Oh, okay, well, so wait. I know I said we're going to get up out of here, but give me give me about two minutes. Is that 63? <laughs> is that 63 uh, including the per diem? Uh, or no per diem? I don't per diem. Know about no per diem. Uh, they ain't, nobody said nothing to me about no party in yet. Well, I mean, make I'm sure, sure I find out a lot yeah, more. Yeah, here yeah, when you, yeah, when you go to orientation, find out about that because if it's including party in, that means let's just say theoretically your 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 base pay will be fifty cent, and then your party in will be third. What was sixty three? It will be thirteen cent. So your base pay will be fifty cent which is tax, and then your per diem, uh, which is 13 cent, which is not taxed. So, yeah, find out find out all about that when you get to the orientation. But, geez, bro, I had to negotiate. When I got there, I had to fucking negotiate 45 cent when I got there, bro. Shoo. I, I know, right? Because I, when the lady called me up, she was like, you know, I you know, I'm 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 a follower of your of your YouTube page. I was like, oh, well, thank you. Uh would you be interested in uh giving J and R a try? And I was like, well, yeah, because you know, I I just I just 
came over from um uh, uh what do you call it? Motherfucking, what's the name? Um, U.S. Express. And she was like, yeah, we can uh, bring you in. And, you know, over the phone, I was like, okay, well, what we, how much are we talking about? Well, we can bring you in at 39 cents a mile. I was like, well, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He says, uh, <laughs> I, I says, uh, you know, here at U.S. Express, I, you know, I, I got it all the way up to like, uh, 44 cent or 43 cent a mile. I said, is there a way that you can match that or what? She was like, well, what do you, hmm. She was like for OTR or something like that. I was like, yeah, that's yeah. So she put me on hold. We came back. She was like, how about, she was like, well, how about 44 cent? Uh, I was like, okay. But then she put me on hold. And came back because uh, I, I don't know who she was talking to, but they needed um, they needed the the one regional they needed the one regional covered real bad, and that paid better. And she came back to me. She was like, "All right, I can do you forty five cent." I was like, "Bet." So I get up in the orientation though, and they hand me the slip. I read at the bottom, and the motherfucker like thirty nine cent a mile. I was like, "No, bro." No, it's not, no, this ain't correct. So I get on the phone with the recruiter. I was like, hey, I, 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 thought, we, uh, I thought we negotiated 45 cents. She was like, yeah, that's where I got you at. I said, well, did, well, how come this paperwork says 39 cents? So, you know, they had to go back and forth. And when they came back, they got it right. So, but 60, woo! J&R Swoogle with the 63 cent, man. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. All right. Again, man, much success to you over there, man. I hope uh, I hope everything works out for you there. Uh, and again, like I said, J&R Shrugal isn't, isn't a bad company. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, a lot of there's there's some drivers that been there for quite a while, you know, that, you know, that really like it there. But of course, you know, some of the fleet managers, like I said, you just got to get right with them. Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean, for my potion. My love is like lotion. It's all over you, you all over me. Cause you my little boy.